this is me, you, and welcome to Fun Friday. Every Friday, I try to do something new, fun, or challenging. Today, I'm going to draw Sailor Moon in 10 different art styles, and this is part 7 of my Draw One Character in 10 Different Art Styles series. I am super excited. And then at the end of this video, I'm going to unbox a lot of books that I bought from my Mayu bookstore on Amazon. I can't wait to show you. So for this video, I'm starting with Monster High, since many, 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 many of you have been asking for Monster High for quite some time now, and I think she's gonna look very different in this universe. So just like in my previous videos in this series, in this video I'm going to try to explore and touch on different fandoms that I haven't really uh, done too much of or have never done on my channel before, so I think this is really exciting. As I was sketching out my Monster High Sailor Moon, you know, the things that stand out to me the most when I think about Monster High and the style are, it would be the, like, how the faces are designed, those big, beautiful eyes, and some of the sharp creases or uh, bent, jagged lines, and also, of course, the legs. I cannot forget those legs. Those legs are really interesting and iconic, so I wanted to get all of those elements in there for my Sailor Moon redesign. One of the things I really enjoyed uh, about drawing Sailor Moon in this style was because, you know, like whenever I think about Sailor Moon or whenever I see her, uh, like the style, the original style of Sailor Moon has these nice, soft, curved lines. She doesn't really have a lot of jaggedness to her design at all. And so when I was designing my Sailor Moon in the Monster High style, I was thinking, it's very interesting as I was sketching this out on the paper, I kept on thinking, wow, she looks really different now because the, the, like the treatment of the lines and the edges of the character are quite, you know, they're a lot sharper, they're more jagged. There is not a lot of curved lines, although there still are, but they're always contrasted with like some kind of jagged or straight edge. So that sharper contrast makes her look a little bit more like um, edgier, more it has this you know this toughness to the design whereas the original like she was all soft and all that so i thought that contrast was quite interesting when i was designing the face and then coloring it in i was really mindful of the design features of her eyes like how angled the eyebrows are how to handle the pupils and the highlights in them and the you know like the little details like the shine on the lips for example so i think all those little things really add up to the overall look of this uh, drawing that i'm doing and i just think it's so cool where you can take one character and transform them into another style it's just so interesting to see them like that. If you're a fan of Monster High, let me know which episode and character is your favorite. I love the sharpness on her legs and those gigantic heels. Okay, so I did a tall style and now let's go the other way. I'm gonna reimagine Sailor Moon as if she were in the world of Paper Mario, so she's gonna be really cute, short, and stubby. So the first challenge when I was sketching the concept uh, design for this was I was thinking how am I going to make a character who is, you know, like she's kind of tall and more realistically proportioned, uh, you know, with the legs and the body. How am I going to make all of that uh, and make it in a world where the characters tend to be shorter, really stubby looking, really cute, maybe some of them don't have proper legs or, you know, like proper joints, you know, that kind of thing, and still make it look like the design is captivating and interesting and it makes sense in that universe. So that was the bigger challenge right from the get-go when I was designing uh, this one. 
So I knew I had to really simplify a lot of things, summarize a lot of things, maybe take out a few joints here and there. And uh, basically I needed to just focus on the major, major, major parts of the character, like the arms, the limbs, uh, the, you know, like for the hands, I would um, summarize them into like this cute little mitt design. And as for her legs, so I really like how Paper Mario, he has just the, like the round body and then his shoes. I think that's a very interesting design element and I wanted to kind of uh, incorporate that element into my design but the thing was like Sailor Moon doesn't have these round bulbous shoes and she has these long boots would that look okay if she doesn't have legs but she has these boots just floating around by her skirt and then as I was playing around with the different concept sketches before I was drawing the final picture I thought yeah I think this could actually work out it's you know it's not something I'm very used to seeing which would catch my attention and I think this is very it's a very unique way to like draw the legs of a character and I just love how different this is Another major thing I had to keep in mind when I was doing this style was the fact that it's supposed to look quite flat. And that's one of the biggest reasons why I really like the Paper Mario style. Uh, I don't know, have you ever played that game? Let me know in the comments if you have. Uh, but yeah, I really like how, like, just the effect of that flatness really, you know, it, it inspires me. Um, and so to, like, to draw my uh, my design in this style, I wanted to get the thick lines in there and then as for the color handling, I liked how some some of the areas of the characters have a faint like little bit of shading on the flat car uh, on the flat area of color. So I wanted to get that in there as well. Alright, now I'm just imagining how she can move like in a game. Like I can see just like her little body going whoop. And then like her legs going shush, 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 like <laughs> right beside her skirt. I just think it's just it's such a funny like movement in my head. I don't know. I just think it's so cute. Okay, here's another style that has been requested many times. So thank you to all of you who have been suggesting this. I'm going to draw Sailor Moon as if she were a character in Winx Club. And I really like this style because similar to the Monster High style, the uh, like the characters features and their like their faces, the eyes, the hair, and especially the leg designs, they are quite stylized and they use a lot of like kind of pointed areas, jagged lines and harder lines rather than soft curved lines. So I think that's quite unique, especially for, you know, like um, traditional girl characters. I think I like this style and I want to see how Sailor Moon is going to look like in this show. I use my colored brush pens to make the outline so then the you know the style will look closer to the official like Winx Club designs since they also have colored outlines. I was trying to find areas of my design where I can make the edges more jagged looking or pointed and I had a lot of fun with her like long iconic pigtails. I really like how they kind of like go in and out and then down. It's really elegant but it has that you know like slight jagged feeling to it which I think it lends itself well into the style and as for the legs and the body proportions uh, I really liked how the lace kind of have that jaggedness as well. The thin little ankles and the slim arms. And then her face, I added some like uh, pointed features. And then the eyes and all that. I just think she looks very, very different as a Winx Club character. I love how she looks. It is, you know, it's something I'm not used to seeing Sailor Moon as. Oh, by the way, thank you all so much for all your likes, comments, and your lovely name ideas and fan theories from my previous video. I'm glad you enjoyed seeing me turn famous cartoon dads as beautiful princesses.
I like how her silhouette curves in at the waist and then out and then back in at the knees. Like that in and out and the like the contrast between those two points make this design stand out to me a lot. Okay, it has been a while since I've drawn anything in this fandom, so I'm gonna draw Sailor Moon as if she were a Dork Diaries character. Ah! I love that book series so much. And uh, I think the last time I've drawn uh, a character in this style was when... Actually, it was in part one of this Draw One Character Intense Style series. It was when I drew Elsa as a character in that universe. And then since then, many of you have been asking for more. So here you go. Here is another character. And I hope you enjoy. I remember reading these books a long time ago and I really like how the art style looks, you know, hand-drawn. It's just, it's such a nice, fresh, like, um, organic feeling, I think. So for my Sailor Moon character, I was thinking about how am I going to summarize her features. I don't want, you know, a lot of details in there, although sometimes a Dork Diary style can get quite detailed, but I'll go with the simpler, um, the simpler designs. I like how some of the characters, you know, they tend to look like, like their limbs can look like stick figure limbs, but then they have all this detail like in the face and all that, so I, I kind of like that contrast. So I'm going to do something similar with my Sailor Moon character. I wanted to have a nice organic hand-drawn feeling to this design, so I didn't want my liner to be super smooth. I like how the Dork Diary characters tend to have the black shading on their necks and the wrists and sometimes the legs as well. So I colored those in in my Sailor Moon design. And then for the face, I just made it look really simplistic with a very, very slight anime look to it. She's a pretty guardian dork. Okay, some of you have been suggesting this style as well, and I've never played this game, although I know it's quite popular. And, uh, you know, the character design themselves are very, very different and so unique. So thank you for suggesting this uh, to all of you. And I'm going to reimagine Sailor Moon as a character in this world. I just don't know how she's going to look like exactly because, again, this is a style where the... Like, I'm gonna look at the major characters. They tend to be really short and really compact looking. So how am I going to summarize Sailor Moon's elements and put them into, you know, this kind of uh, design? I love how the characters in this style tend to have this really like long pinched looking curved cheek that kind of juts out there and then they have like these eyes that are kind of cute and as for the hairstyle it's very like stylized and very like the shapes are very concentrated and simplified so I took all of those elements in there and then the big thing was how am I gonna handle the body design of this character? So I was thinking of different ways to kind of like compress the body design. Like, you know, Sailor Moon has these long legs, but in this style, I was thinking, should I, like, do I even have room to show legs or should I just go right from the skirt into like the big giant feet, like the boots? So I was thinking of how to play with that and eventually I came up with this, this design where I'm just gonna show like a little bit of the uh, upper part of the boot and then that's it. So it's quite different from the Sailor Moon designs that I'm used to seeing. Okay, and as for the hair, so originally I had no idea how to handle her pigtails because, you know, like Sailor Moon has these really long, beautiful hair and I just didn't really know how to, like, should I make them shorter? Should I... I don't know, like, how, how would her hair look like in this style? And then I thought it would be funny if she still had the long hair, but because her body's so short, her long hair is, like, all the way on, like, down on the ground and they're, like, just trailing 
you know, behind her on the ground. I thought that was pretty funny. So I thought, yes, let's just add that in there. Let's get some humor going. And I love it. I also like how the style has the shading on the characters to bring out more dimension. So I tried adding some shadows and like shaded areas onto her different parts of her design. I love those gigantic feet. Okay, this is another fandom that I have not done before on my channel, and many of you have been asking for me to draw a character in the Total Drama Island style, so here we go. Let's turn Sailor Moon into a character in this show. Now, one of the biggest things that I really like about this style is just how the angles and the shapes and the, like the silhouettes are handled. Each character has such a unique shape to them, you know, with the contrast of the curves versus the jagged areas. And uh, just the, like, it's very geometric, but it also does not look, like they don't look stiff. So I decided to give my Sailor Moon design this squarish head with like a slightly curved cheek and then it goes into her neck and I love how the characters like they don't have a line or at least as far as I've seen they haven't they don't have like this specific like line uh, between the head and the neck it just kind of goes from the head into the neck like as one like interesting shape. And as for the rest of the body, and including her outfit, like the flatness of the skirt, I really wanted to use shapes and lines to make this design look really flat, like not dimensional at all, but still in an organic looking way. In case you're watching this and you want to learn how to draw or improve your art skills so that you can design all kinds of characters, I've got you covered with my helpful drawing books and ebooks including my new release called Draw Quick and Easy Anime Manga Eyes. You can read this ebook for free if you have Kindle Unlimited. The ebooks and paperbacks are also available for purchase. You'll find over 70 books on my Mayu bookstore. The link's in the video description. I hope they help you improve your art skills. And so with practice, you can create professional looking characters any way you like. Happy drawing! I like how she's standing so that her legs, you know, when they're just by each other, side by side, it kind of forms this nice little, almost like a tall vase shape. I think it looks really stylized and elegant. Okay, here is another cute style that is also very simplified. I am going to try to reimagine Sailor Moon in the world of the Little Miss and Mr. Men universe. I remember reading a lot of these books when I was really young and oh my goodness like oh the nostalgia okay so sir it's all coming back and I just oh my goodness all the little characters and their little funny shapes and their little arms and the squiggly legs oh I love all of that if you were a fan or if you read these books in the past let me know in the comments but yeah let's turn Sailor Moon into a character like them so obviously I have to really simplify a lot of the details and um, it was actually you know sometimes the simplest styles can present very interesting challenges Because I wanted to preserve that round body look to her, I didn't want to distract that with like a skirt shape. So I decided to just draw the legs on top or underneath the body and then just really simplify her outfit, make it so that it could look like she could wear this outfit if she had like a spherical body. And then for the like the hair and the facial features, I really had to like just cut down on a lot of details, but I think, you know, Overall, I think the elements that I put into design looks like she could totally belong in this world. 
Alrighty, as for Style 8, here is another Phantom that I haven't done before on my channel. Some of you have been asking for uh, Bob's Burgers style, so I'm going to reimagine Sailor Moon as one of these characters. And I haven't watched this show yet, but I really like how they uh, like they handle the different features of the characters, especially like the thing that stands out to me the most is how the head, like the head shape, kind of melds into to the neck and then into the body like it's just such a smooth like um transition so i thought that was very interesting and also of course the the face like the eyes the mouths when they open their smile the shape of that smile is very um iconic to me and then just you know overall the simplicity of the style and like the line width is also quite thin and in a way, it kind of reminded me a little bit of the Simpsons style. I've drawn some of those styles in my previous art challenges. But of course, there are lots of uh, differences from that and this style as well. When I was inking my drawing, I had to really, really concentrate and like not put too much pressure on my brush pen because I didn't want my lines to have uh, like my usual thick to thin organic looking lines. I didn't want to have any thick lines for for this particular design because I wanted this to have like the, you know, just a fairly uniform thin lines for the art style. I like how her legs are kind of far apart and then they just like kind of just go straight down from her skirt and it just it like it gives the body shape and overall a feeling of like being a rectangle so I think that's kind of funny. I also think it's quite interesting to see like an anime, like a Japanese anime character drawn in so many different like Western styles and Western cartoons. Like Sailor Moon just looks so different here. Okay, this next style is quite dramatic and I really love how, you know, in Hollow Knight the characters look so like haunting and yet so cute and it kind of reminds me of Tim Burton a little bit but it's so different so I can't wait to draw Sailor Moon in the Hollow Knight style. I haven't seen too many art styles out there that really, really simplify the character's uh, face into just these two giant, you know, like dark oval eyes. So I thought that was really interesting. And as for the body, I had to think about how to make her limbs look like it they can fit into this universe because the characters like it their their arms and the legs are quite um you know the they're very simplified they're always in these little points and i really like that i thought you know if i were to make my character design fit into this universe i had to really summarize the like the gloves and the boots they'll still look like sailor moon's gloves and boots but i had to you know, figure out a way to make it look good in this style. One of the things that really stood out to me in this art style was the fact that the characters' faces and bodies are quite simple. But the, like the fabric, like the cape, for example, that he's wearing, they have a lot of detail or, you know, like a lot of lines and, um, texture in that design so you have this contrast of something very simple versus something very or just you know more detailed on the same character in the same style so I thought that was quite interesting and I wanted to play with her hair and just kind of make uh, the hair a little bit more detailed than uh, like let's say her face. I like how in this art video I have some different art styles from different games. Let me know if you like playing this game or what other games you like to play either on mobile or on the console or on desktop in the comments below. Kinda spooky, but very cute. 
Okay, many of you have been asking for this style quite a lot as well. Let's see how Sailor Moon is going to look like as an Equestria girl in this world. I am so looking forward to this. I love this style so much. I have drawn different things in this style before. And let's see how Sailor Moon is going to look like. One of the things I really like about the MLP Equestria girl style is, you know, like the eyes. They're so bright and big and pretty and sparkly and they're really engaging. So I really like how they do their eyes uh, for the body. It's kind of realistic in the way that the proportions are there, uh, but still a little stylized. And then those big boots, like how the legs go from the slim legs and down into big, like, you know, solid looking shoes. Uh, or heels. I really like that. I think that's one of the my most favorite parts of this style So I could not wait to do that for my Sailor Moon design I'm glad that many of you already have my recent Pop Culture Reimagined Volume 2 coloring book. It's continuing my Pop Culture Reimagined series and I wanted to release another sequel but for a different series of mine. So I made Sea of Serenity, a tranquil coloring book. This is a sequel to my Forest of Fantasy title which I made a few months ago and many of you have that and I'm sure you'll love the second book in this series. Like Forest of Fantasy, Sea of Serenity is filled with beautiful, fantastical, and surreal line art illustrations of gorgeous women, creatures, animals, and natural settings but with an aquatic theme. The images are duplicated, so you'll have an extra copy of each piece for your own art challenges or buddy colors or a handy backup in case of mistakes. I know many of you love my line art and I hope you enjoy making these artwork your very own. Sea of Serenity is available in three different sizes and formats and you can find all of my books on my Mayu bookstore on Amazon. The link is in the video description. Get them for yourself or as a creative gift. In case you don't see it on my store yet, just check back in a couple of days. I also recently ordered a lot of my books from Amazon and I'll unbox them in the end of this video so you can see how the paperbacks and hardcovers look like. So similar to the Winx Club style, I used my different colored brush markers to do the line art. And when I was coloring in my artwork, I had to be mindful of the like the marker colors I chose. I didn't want the colors to look too similar to the actual line art colors because I wanted the lines to stand out a little bit. And I can totally see this Sailor Moon design like in the world of MLP Equestria Girls and let me know if you have any fan theories like for example if Serena was in this world like what would she be doing? Who would she be friends with? How would she fight evil? Let me know your thoughts in the comments. What styles were your favorites? This video took me over a hundred hours or so to complete from the research to the concept sketching and then the drawing, inking, coloring and editing. If you enjoyed this, then please smash the like button and share this video with your friends. Your support really helps out the channel a lot. Also, let me know what other characters and styles you want to see in part 8. If you're new, subscribe to see more art challenges like this and turn on the bell notification so you'll know when I post new videos. Thanks for watching and I'm gonna unbox a lot of my books right now. I have a lot of books that I just got from Amazon and I cannot wait to unbox all of them in front of you. Yay! Okay, so this is my new or recent Mermaid Magic coloring book. Oh, here's Curvy Beauties. Oh, this is the big large size soft cover of Unicorn Utopia, my other coloring book. Okay, I have some drawing books. <gasps> oh, this is a hardcover, I love it! Look at this, Mermaid Magic as a hardcover coloring book. Oh, my heart is beating. Oh my goodness, look at this. It's a hardcover, I love it. I love it so much. Oh my goodness, okay. This is so, so, so good. Cool. <laughs> the large hardcover Unicorn Utopia coloring book. I love that. I love that. It's so sturdy. It's so... I love the cover and the make. It's really nice. I'm going to take the box away. 
I am growing my collection of books. I just love making more and more books for all of you. No matter if you like coloring in my artwork and my line art, or if you want to learn how to draw all kinds of different things from me, I am super happy to keep this going for all of you because I know you are all so interested in upping your creativity and you know I just love to encourage all of you by doing more books for you and as time goes on I'm gonna grow this uh, book like book uh, what should I call it book collection for you to keep exploring and just diving into these and getting new ideas and new inspiration so I'm super happy and in case you want to check out my books, I have them all on my May bookstore on Amazon. The link is in the video description and I hope you all enjoy coloring and drawing. I'm so happy. <laughs>